great pleasure to welcome James Murray from Floral Expressions in KV and recently, as of many weeks, two weeks, two weeks ago, opened a new business in Newton Hamilton. So, how long have you been operating in KV, James? 15 years. 15 years, and then so I called out St. James two weeks ago and he said we're opening in Newton so we're opening in Newton Hamilton. So we wish you every success and our theme again is supporting local business, shopping local. And I was at James, I attended James's workshop in St. Patrick's Strand in Armagh the first week of December. And I sat through the show and I found it absolutely wonderful. So we're all in the first week tonight. And James, it's a pleasure. This is your first time here in our GLM. And you're very welcome. And we look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. I was just saying whenever I was sitting down there and um, I had lunch sorted and I'm going to take the chicken pie home and I'm going to and I, I think maybe a wee bit of the ham, I'll skip the lamb, it's a wee bit dearer, you know. <laughs> and and then maybe a couple of cupcakes then will be for the tea afterwards. As I, I was saying, the theme for tonight was an Easter uh, theme and I was thinking then whenever there was the cupcakes and things I thought maybe just to do if you were doing an Easter party at home and um, I took a couple of little cups just cappuccino cups and you'll see there all I've done for my first arrangement is cut my jar right you put a little bit of water into the cup and straight in. So that's my first one done. Okay, it took longer to, to do the flour for the for the first cake didn't it? Next one this will last for about three weeks. And it's an Anastasia, it's a chrysanthemum. And again, just make sure there's water in the cup and pop it in. And so there's my second one done. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> carnation. Now you see the way it's quite tight. So I'm just gonna squash the bottom a wee bit and open it up slightly. And there we are. No ball. <laughs> so anyone that says flower arranging is hard, don't believe one word. <laughs> now, I'm going to try and get through as many arrangements tonight as possible. Now that one took a minute and a half. Here we go. <laughs> And I would be going a lot quicker if Charlie had these open. <laughs> um, and I would just like to take this opportunity just to welcome Gary into Floral Expressions. He's started on a, um, what I would say was the dawn of the week. That was the week of Mother's Day. And I say if you can survive Mother's Day in Florist, you'll survive any time at all. Because it's not a hard job, because if he can do it, anybody in the room. <laughs> you just cut and push in. <laughs> no nonsense. And just straight forward, off we go. Basket's almost screened. And again, the more arrangements I get done in my 20 minutes, the more chance you have of taking one of them home with you. And how I judge what you think of my work is whenever everything's been rattled off, if you take the cupcake before my arrangement, <laughs> you'll meet me at the door. <laughs> so, as you've heard, um, we've recently opened a new shop in Newtown Hamilton. And anyone that knows Newtown Hamilton, do you know what the big roundabout on your way in past the seventh set of traffic lights? I think it is. You'll come across the square. Yeah, I know. That's before you blink. There used to be O'Malley's Furniture Shop, and uh, I think there was a hardware store with it as well, and that's where we're open down there. Um, it's one of my sisters has moved to it. Um, it's Anne-Marie, so 
And don't worry, if you're there and she can't help you, just tell her to phone the, the main branch in Katie and we'll sort out any of the problems. <laughs> but she'll be more than happy to put your money in her tip and not ours in Katie. There's another one of my sisters work in the shop in Katie as well, that's Patrice. So if you do have any queries about anything at all, you don't have to be purchasing in the shop. You can just give her a phone and she'll do her best to help you out. As long as you promise to come back to our shop then whenever you get the problem solved. I will say, sometimes people will say going to a florist um, is too expensive and it's much cheaper to go to some of your supermarkets for your flowers. Some of them will have fresh flowers and good quality fresh flowers. The majority of them don't. And I would say if you are prepared to spend one or two pounds more on a bunch from your florist, um, you should get a lot longer out of your arrangements. In general, anyone that wins one of these tonight, they should be expecting to get at least two weeks out of their arrangement. No, you should have no bother having three. Some people that don't put on their heat, do you let me switch on the wall? If they don't put that on, they'll get a month out. <laughs> Yes. I got the second, the second prize, and I got six weeks out of the floor. So, right. so obviously, <laughs> whenever you go to her house, you take your coat, your sleeping <laughs> bag, and all with you. I know I'm a cheeky bee. <laughs> now, you'll see here it's a green basket, green flowers. I have a green chrysanthemum, a green rose, and a green hypericum berry. And just to add that little bit of Easter colour, I have a little bit of uh, ribbon and that's in purple. And that's just to pull the purple up in through. I have them already pre-cut and, and wired. But just to get a little bit of height, I'm taking one of the hypericum stems and just wrapping it round. And you'll see that on the screen there. <laughs> if I had known that there was going to be a video here, I would have went and got my hair done. <laughs> and it's a little bit of aluminium wire. Easy done. All you do here is pop it into the oasis straight in. And then And you can do little test tubes even with flowers dangling down. And I don't need that wee bit, so I'm just going to tuck it in through the back. And as you can see, I'm very nervous. <laughs> and that's my arrangement done.
and you pop it straight into the vat. Oh, I broke him. Good example, always do the tall one first because if you've made a wee mistake, you cut just above the break and he becomes the lower down. <laughs> I didn't make any mistake, I announced it to be there. You're taking your long one and pop to it. And I'm just taking a simple couple of settings of pressure. And the reason I'm putting the pressure in is just so that you yeah, have the fragrance. <coughs> right, the kettle's coming near the boil, so I need to hurry up. Aunt Mary will be here in two minutes. <laughs> to give me my Easter theme, I've just taken a couple of yellow feathers. No, I didn't explain that. I've been pre-wired. You don't want to push the wire into, in case you puncture the plastic and then the container's going to leak. So just bend the wire back up and straight. And I'm taking just a couple of stems of the salad eagle just to fringe around the fabric. And that's our next one done. Now don't you dare think that I get my money easy just because I can do them as quick as this. I take a lot more time and I am very fussy, very particular about the flowers that goes out of the shop. So, but there's no point in me standing here taking 20 minutes or a half hour to do one arrangement whenever you're there saying, if you had a speeding up, I could have maybe got one home with me. And I know it's what you're thinking. Well, it's what Ruby's thinking at the back down there anyway. I know that much. And before I come on, Ruby says, now don't you be long, I want to get to bed early. <laughs> but I'll, as you know, Ruby, I wouldn't embarrass you. No. I only know that because she's one of our customers, you know. So I know I can pick on her. Because she'll still come back because of the quality of the flowers. <laughs> and that's arrangement number two. Now again, anybody has questions, feel free to fire away there. If I don't know the answer, I'll just ignore you and we'll move on. <laughs> but if there is something that you would like to, to know, do feel free to shout away there. Bactially, you can grow these in your garden. And you don't have to live in Colombia, you can grow them here. And they survived last winter, so if they'll survive last winter, there'll be no problem. Or I should say the winter before. Um, absolutely no problem at all. This umbrella fern, as you can see, it covers a multitude. Now I'm going to just show you closer to the camera, so if you watch the screen. You're taking your gerber and just one of the florist wire and you push it up into the gerber and just gently twist and I bend it up and back up the stem. The only reason we do that is to strengthen the gerber so that when you're pushing it in you're not going to break the stem. Sometimes the heads of the gerber will flop and that will just keep them up straight. Okay, it's a fantastic colour and the reason I just went with this one was because I just, from an Easter theme, I, I was trying to keep the flowers in yellows, whites, purples. This here particular one is magenta. And I'm going to just do the third gerbera, slightly tall. Now the whole idea of doing the demonstration tonight is that you'll come to Floral Expressions to buy your flowers, number one. And that you'll actually leave having 
got a couple of ideas and that you could go home and say, well, do you know I could tackle that myself? Because that's the, um, the enjoyment you'll get out of flower arranging is whenever you actually go in, buy a few flowers, even if you just take a couple of tulips from the garden and put them into the oasis and then when somebody comes into the house and asks where you bought it, that's whenever you, you know that you're doing a good job. And don't worry if you're buying something in the shop. We normally have a wee floral expression sticker on the pot. You can always peel it off and it on you don't it yourself. <laughs> she's laughing, but she's done it. <laughs> just going slightly stepped up from that one and then I'm doing my next row there. Gary, have you that next one ready now? So I, I'm, I'm ready to get finished here. So you'll see I'm still stepping, but I didn't go with this straight row, I've staggered them. And I'm using um, one of the, a little spray formation and it's clove rock and it just lightens, it has a nicely white fringe or a pale pink fringe to it. hard is if you go for symmetrical and you have this one in the middle and you have to have two on this side and one in and one in and load of nonsense. Especially if you're beginning and you want to just do it for, from a fun point of view. Just get them cut and whack them in. Loads of greens and you're all right. Most important thing would be to make sure your flowers are properly conditioned before putting them into oasis. Now, when I, what I mean by conditioned is that you, when you buy them, that you stand them in water, sometimes still in the wrapper that it comes in, at least for two hours. Same with the foliage that you'll take from the garden or your next door neighbour's garden, whatever. <laughs> I know, you normally wait till she goes and does her long shot because it takes her two hours to do that. Well, I know it takes my next door neighbour about two hours. <laughs> so, I try and have her garden pruned for her in about an hour and a half. <laughs> and that's our arrangement. Then. We're not doing too bad, that's only 19 minutes in total. Back to our tea party theme. Whoever wins this arrangement, I want to make sure it's on camera and I'm totally covered. The handle doesn't work, it's broken. So you can't use this for the tea. It's for floral use only. Maybe I shouldn't raffle this one off and then I won't get in trouble. <laughs> You'll see whenever I wanted a delf teapot. I'm sure whenever I went looking for a delf teapot, it was all too expensive. I said, I'm not spending that on it for a flower arrangement. So I was in the hardware store in Katie and um, they told me, oh, well, we have a teapot. If it's only for flower arrangement, we have a teapot that the ma a man brought in. He said it was a faulty handle and a faulty lid and a faulty whatnot all. So I said, that would do the job nicely. I'm sure it didn't cost me, so it was not all right. Mind you, it still had 19 pounds, something stuck on it. <laughs> now, you see the way that I'm taking the umbrella fern? I'm trying to get that flow to make it look like you're pouring the, the water out of the pot, or the tea out of the pot, or whatever. And then to the back, I'm just going to rise a little bit. So again, it's just for that Easter tea party theme. And just a little bit of the rustless here. 
by the wave process. And that's us ready. Now, if there was particular flowers that you like and that you are planning on using for an occasion in your house or for a gift that you would prefer uh, us to make and deliver to somebody, always give us a little bit of notice for ordering flowers. If they like amaryllis or something like that, that you wouldn't normally stock in the shop, it's nice um, just to have a few days notice so that we can order it in for you. But like we do try and stock a comprehensive range of flowers in the shop at all times. Um, and always ask if you're in the shop and there isn't a flower on show that you would like, or, or maybe the particular colour that you're looking for isn't in the shop. Always ask, um, in, the, in the shop in Katie, we have a cool room upstairs, and that's where the bulk of the stock is. And then the rest of the flowers is, you know, just brought down in small stages then into the shop. And that's really so that they last longer whenever you get them home or whoever is receiving the gift. You'll see there is our teapot green. And I don't know where the thing I'm going to put all in flowers. But sure. I'll use a couple of them if nothing else. And what I really do is, hopefully this camera wouldn't be too much evidence, but I'll say I put them all in the teapot and I'll take them home. And I'll use the rest of them in the bars in the house. And she would never know. You can see the colour there. It's fantastic. It's a nice bit of colour, especially next to that silver. That's our magenta gerber. And you'll see that I have double wired that right round and it gives it good strength. And gerbers are a little bit like tulips. Um, they sort of change shape, they'll follow the light. So when you have it wired, it'll stay in place and it won't move. It's nice to have something in the house that'll do what it's told. <laughs> I knew you a giggle at that. I will not say who you're thinking. I'm sure there was no man popped into your head at all. <laughs> Carnation, slightly going to open it again, nice and gentle. And that's just so that you can see the, the bit of colouring on it. The only reason I'm doing that is, um, you'll see whenever we get our, our carnations in, they come very tight to be right up like that there. And most people won't buy them because they're used to seeing big heads like that. And the only reason that they get bigger and bigger is because they're getting older and older. So a tip would be to buy them whenever you can see the colour. Now, you could do what I do, is just force it on a wee bit. The same when you'd be buying lilies. And there's a lot of people, whenever they come into the shop, they'll go, have you no open lilies? Because most of them are afraid that if they buy the lily as the bud, that they aren't going to open. It's very, very seldom that when you buy a lily that is a green bud, that it wouldn't open for you. It just might take an extra week. But sure, does that really matter? If you have one open lily in the bunch, or maybe two, and then go for two sort of medium and then two greener ones. So you'll, it stretches the length of time that you'll get out of it. <coughs> now, you see all the, the little accessories and products or, that I'll be using during the class or the containers. And um, we sell them in the shop. That's Floral Expressions in Katie. <laughs> Close on a Monday, <laughs> open at 10. Now, if Patrice is driving, it normally could be five past ten because she'd be putting the makeup on. But we'll say not. So whenever you go in and you see her and she's a wee bit late, yet, just have a wee look at the face and then you'll know sort of if she got it half done. 
all she tells me in the mornings is, it's all right to give you a face cloth right over your head and that's it done. <laughs> Just a small fringe of the saladago. And our teapot's almost done. And please, whoever wins the teapot, it's for ornamental use only. Because <laughs> I know it's what would happen. still show up. What you do is you do it like this and you have half of it already covered. Okay? So you don't need that whole big bag of green like out of the garden, a couple of leaves. Put them in at the angle and it covers a lot. The less greenery you have in, the less water it's going to be drinking. And it gives a lot more room for your flowers and there's no point and having it full of greenery and then spending money on the flowers and you can't see half of them in it. So you're better with a couple of nice leaves. Ask the distress is this one. And you'll see that it, I have it folded there. I should explain to you then what I've done there. I'll do that with this one. I have just a wire tied on. And all we're doing is taking the leaf to the end that and we're just taking the wire and we're wrapping it right and the reason I do the wire on it is it stays in place if you use tape the tape can dry in the heat in the house and then it will open up so at least then you know that the leaf's going to stay in shape and with this one you'll see again with the first leaf done and there so take your the next leaf to the edge of the basket we want it slightly taller. You know the oasis is at that level, so you want a couple of inches just going down into the oasis. And then push in so that you have your double height. So that's that. Now I don't want to tell you too much because you'll end up not coming to Floral Expressions in Katie. We've recently opened a new channel. I don't know if I told you that or not. And um, that was Anne Marie that was um, that opened in Newtown. And we work very late at night, even though the shop might be closed at six. And in general, we're never finished work until nine, ten, sometimes through to one or two in the morning. Like from Mother's Day, the full week beforehand, doing all our prep work, and the earliest that we were home would have been three in the morning. And um, the week of Mother's, or the couple of days then, St. Patrick's Day, and uh, would have been four, half four, and five is whenever we left the shop. And again, you'd be wondering why we weren't open that first thing at half eight or nine. That would be why. We're trying to catch up on the sleep. And you'll see there, what we've done is we have our fat silly, our first acidestrous, our second, and then our ruscus. And just to fill out that corner, I've done the leather leaf. And I've just stem in here to the back just to cover a wee bit of the oasis. We had a little accident on the road coming up. I broke the top off the gladiola. So, 
But we'll do instead of the gladiola, is we're going to give you a knot. It's a little white orchid. The orchid's lovely or I'm lovely. What was that? <laughs> now, straight in just to give us our height. And I'm taking one of the stems into the back, and that's sometimes the orchid falls forward. And if you find that whenever you're doing it, all you have to do is tie a piece of wire, florist wire, around the stem and the handle of the basket. Quite straightforward. It's too early in the night to be on. <laughs> and you in the front row. <laughs> now I'm just popping the actual stem right through the fat ceiling. And don't worry, it, it doesn't hurt it at all. And the fat ceiling will still be as good when the flowers are stained. The only thing is that it just has a wee hole in the middle. You'll find if you're doing the folded, like if you receive a basket from us, that's for our expressions and duty. <laughs> recently opened in Utah. If you are lucky enough to have somebody that will buy you one for Easter, what you do after hopefully three weeks, maybe four, if you have no heat in the house in maybe six weeks. <laughs> what you do is make sure at all times that the basket is well watered. And when you take out a flower, pop a new one back in. And then our, our arrangement could last 12 weeks if you were lucky. Now, I don't know if there's anybody here that has never done flower arranging or has never been to classes. We do classes all the time. If you wanted a class here in the hall, for instance, as long as you have a minimum of 10 people, um, we'll come out and, and do the class. We provide scissors, containers, oasis, flowers, greenery. The only thing is you have to take your own glasses if you need glasses. You don't come out. <laughs> Oh, and your wallet, or your Porsche, whatever. <laughs> it's normally £10 a night, and that's, you have a flower arrangement home with you. You see the likes of the, the, the pot or the green basket, that's the type of arrangement that you would have home. And even if you've never done flower arranging before, um, what we say is if you're going to start, is to take a photograph of the arrangement and then look at it for the mistakes. Never let whoever it is in the house tell you what you've done wrong. Take the photograph and have a look at the photograph and that's how you'll know where you need to change for the next time round. Now I don't want to put too much here just to cover that orchid. I just want just carnation in there. So that tilt a bit and you'll have a crank in your neck and you'll be given off to me in the morning. <laughs> now I had the glass, I got carried away. Just to give you a hint of some of the things that we do in the shop. If you brought in anything, say it's a CD or a wee tiny box of chocolates, we can incorporate it into the basket. Let's say that you were giving somebody a couple of Easter eggs. What you could do
so it is secure. And if you're doing this at home and you wanted this to be your arrangement in the hall, another way you could do it is take some of the stems, put them onto your glass, tape it right round, and then that goes into your oasis. And then you just green it just the same. But I can eat those on the way home, so you're getting the flowerings. <laughs> okay, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> And again, I'm only popping the freesia in so that it has a scent. And you'll see this is that only multicoloured mix. It's not the scraps that was left over the yard. They've all got full stems. <laughs> and you're just working your way around. And this is one of the simplest things you can do. And you can do this with a teapot, a wee jug, and um, cups, anything at all. Even see if you have a wee house plant. Um, and you could even just use that wee, the wee pot that you would have in it just until you get your arrangement done for the table. Things like this is very easy to do for a centrepiece. <coughs> and it takes up no room on the table, so and you're still able to put your salts and peppers in round tight up to the container. Where if you've done it in a, a, an oasis dish, you'd be right down tight to the table itself, and it takes a lot more room up on the table. into us or whatever and just tell us just to be creative and I'm real be going why did you tell them that <laughs> I, I'm struggling doing this <laughs> I said not really now you see what I mean by that is you see this basket we're taking our flowers in okay they're not handmade cupcakes but sure it'll do rightly <laughs> And just taking a couple of the wee decorative Easter eggs. A couple of wee whale ones. <laughs> so 
look just as nice as the work on the I'm going to make a wee cupcake. You get the icing and you get all these and you, you take it out of the bag and you flatten it and you, you know all that. And then I'll show you how it's done. You take that and you push it in and you get the cupcake nearly done. <laughs> But you see if you really do, you, did you see the way that at the very beginning she had the wee cupcake stand and she had three or four cupcakes on it? And it looks fantastic done on the centerpiece of the table. To do a couple more levels in it, all you do is you get your silver trays that you, you know, if you're a proper baker, you'll know these things. I, I, I almost said housewife, but I better not say that. <laughs> Or I'll never be back to Mount Norris again. <laughs> you just get the wee silver trays and you're using those because they're waterproof. You pop in your oasis. more to do that. <laughs> I might actually work on the table for this one. I have pushed the oasis in. the way he was, and we sprayed him purple. <laughs> so that's just to give me the wee bit of height. And I'm taking the burn. Now, and just a tip, do you see whenever you're doing flower arranging, you don't always have to go with very expensive flowers. Just pick and choose through the flowers that's in the shop. And it gives you, you know, like say, you can buy roses, for instance, that are two pound a stem, where you could, like in that last one that I've done, do you know where I use maybe four roses? They, they range from about 50p to 75p a stem. So there's a big difference, and you don't have to spend a fortune to, to get something nice. You know the way that the last Ask the District Leaf, we took that down and we've done that and we've wired it? I'm doing it this way just to show you another way of doing it. I'm just rolling it, taking the stapler. Now, if you wanted one of these staplers, Floral Expressions and Katie sell them. <laughs> You'd nearly think it was the only florist in the country, wouldn't you? It's amazing how many florists won't sell you um, their products. And that's basically because they want you to buy the arrangement of them. Because um, there's a lot of them wouldn't even sell you cellophane for wrapping up hampers and things like that. 
Well, floral expressions and Katie would, I would nearly sell Patrice's hand if I could. <laughs> but I really need it, so I won't. <laughs> You'll see, I've just, it, it just gives something slightly different. And we like to try and do things that are slightly different that other florists don't do. Or they do it, but they'll charge you a fortune for it. Like, the dearest arrangement that went out of the shop for Mother's Day was £55, and it was fabulous, and it went out in its own glass bags, and what we do on big occasions like that is we try and keep our containers at wholesale price, no money added on to them, and then it's whatever you want to spend, then we just minus that off. on the price. Because I know at the moment it can be just tough enough gathering up money for, for things like that. And you see if you're going uh, to visit somebody and you want to take something with you and you, a lot of the time you go to buy something, you have to spend 10, 12, 15, 20 pounds. Um, you can still come into the shop and say, I have five pound, I'm only going, I've already bought something else, can you rustle me up? A wee. And you could even just take a couple of stains and wrap them nice in cellophane and you don't have to spend the fortune. Naturally enough, I'd prefer if you came in and told me you had 30 or 35 pounds to spend. <laughs> but that doesn't always happen. But you would see, if you come in at some stage and you're looking for a nice arrangement, um, you'll soon see that you're definitely getting value for money for what you, you actually get whenever you would then go somewhere else and even just price the container alone or the accessories. Because you'll see the stems like this here um, can price up to seven pounds a stem and I've seen them even as far as 12 pounds. We're roughly, we're about two pounds 50 for the stem when it goes into an arrangement. So it's not bad. Am I selling it right? Floral expressions in case. Very good value for money. Support local businesses. Support local businesses. And if I could sell cupcakes, I would. But there's a bakery next door to me, so I better not tramp on their toes. This is one of my favourite colour schemes in flowers, is oranges and purples. And it's a colour scheme that a lot of people wouldn't put together. Now I don't know what this really looks like because I'm working back to front, but I'm sure if I'm going wrong, you'd keep me right. <laughs> and in no way am I telling you not to go to a florist closer to you. If that's what you do, that's what you do. I'm only letting you know where we are, and, and we are open for business. <laughs> Please don't come in and ask me to do something like that for your five pound gift. <laughs> I'll very politely tell you where the door is. <laughs> Or maybe not so politely. <laughs> but our glass vase, for instance, there um, costs about five pounds, I think, maybe six, so like it's not too bad. And now I can see you see your woman in the front here in the corner. She's there five and she said that was two and then that's seven. <laughs> Before we're finished, we'll have at least 25 gone, don't worry. <laughs> You'll see here, I'm trying to get a step C1 and 2. <coughs> so I want to try and pull, I and mean, whenever the gladiola opens, you'll have that orange from there 
do you know right down. I want to try and link that through here. Now, another wee thing. If you were doing this at home, and you, you see the way that that has broke in the packaging coming? That hasn't actually broken off, it has just bent. So if you have bought it and you're for doing something, don't leave it broken in the bands. Actually take your wire and right through, okay? Bend it down. And he's still up and he'll survive quite well. As long as it hadn't broken out completely. I really needed that one in here. Unless if there's an orange carnation in something else. The next demo I go to, I'll drive slow. <coughs> A little bit of purple September. And you see the way we've our fern done out right. I'm just going to bring a little bit of that purple September spread out. <coughs> and I'd say I probably came near enough to my time. Would that be right? Yes. That's all. I still have so much more to show you. <laughs> but not to worry. Do you see the couple of arrangements that I, I don't get done tonight? I'll do them first thing in the morning. And if you nip into either New Channel or Katie, you'll see them. <laughs> the only <coughs> difference is you can't buy a ticket coming through the door to win it. There'll be a wee price tag on it, sure, and you can buy it. <laughs> and I'm sure you work hard enough on that that you could just spend a wee bit on yourself. <laughs> What was it your quote was, I'm worth it. That's right. So you'll see that wee bit of purple fanning out through. And I just want to bring one on this side as well. And just to add a little bit of depth, I'm popping in um, a little bit of pressure. Um, Gary, if you just give me a couple of those ornamental. Yeah, I'll just do that wee check. Perfect. And the pressure will add that little bit of centre. nearly think it was Christmas there to listen to them. See those wee newborn chicks chirping away that annoy your head first thing in the morning? <laughs> and for this one then, I'm just going to wire them in. Now again, if you wanted this to go out to someone um, for, I was going to say for Christmas, for Easter, you could actually do a little tin in there or a little nest with those wee tiny mini eggs in it. And it's really nice done like that um, for a front hall, if you have a table in your front hall, that whenever somebody is visiting, they can lift a wee egg on their way in or on their way out. And do you know what I find with these? 
they're really good because you're not going like this with them, and you're not dabbing the wee water thing on it. <laughs> now, I hope you did get a lot of ideas and wee tips. And if there is any questions, I am here afterwards, so ask away. And if you are a little bit shy and you're afraid of being on the video while you're asking the question, just phone me in the morning and I'm sure we'll, we'll discuss whatever it is. But that's our, our Easter gift. So just remember, flower expressions in Katie and in Newtown. Thank you very much.